Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! This is actually something that I'm really excited about. We're gonna do pick a card. So, I'm going to turn the camera around. I have created three piles. I've settled on them beforehand. I do not know what's in them. There is pile one, two, three. We have candles lit all around. We're going, I'm gonna go through the, the piles together, revealing them with you live on on, on YouTube. Actually, we're not live, but li on YouTube. Um, if you are on a platform, I'm sorry, everybody, welcome to Born Without Boundaries. This is my Halloween pick a card. Welcome to the Halloween pick a card. This is a special treat. No tricks here for Halloween. It's a pick a card for guidance and love and light and, um, um, messages of encouragement that have to come through for you on this All Hallows Eve, this beautiful, magical night um, when the veil is, is broken, when the veil comes down and truth can come out from light, from darkness comes light. And that's what we are, um, that's what we're um, conducting tonight. Um, just beautiful messages coming through uh, channel um, in piles one, two, and three. Pick the one that's right for you. Please focus on them before you do. Intuitively, please pick these messages. Uh, let it come from your heart. Let it come from um, deep down inside of you. Uh, I'm going to turn the camera around while I do. I'm going to slip in an ad or commercial just in case. If, if if you guys are on platforms that allow them, and I'll be right back. Hi everybody. Once again, thank you for joining me on this beautiful Halloween night. I ask you now to just take a second, guys, and focus. This is pile one. This is pile two. And this is pile three. Which one did you choose? Give yourself a second, take a breather, Think it through. All of them have messages of love to deliver to you. What intuitively, which pile is calling to you? Okay. I will timestamp these. So you don't have to worry about it. Let's start with pile one. Pile one, the first card, divine animals. Spiritual guidance is coming through, through your animal totems. Animals have spoken to humans or have helped them to connect to Wakantanka, uh, if I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, which is the great spirit. This is what um, Native Americans um, hold dear to them. It is an encompassment of everything, all things. That is what the great spirit is. And four-legged creatures, winged creatures, and two-legged creatures all are connected and all are equals in the great spirit. And so they have believed for many, many years that... Um, Animal totems come through and speak messages to them. So for all of you today, um, who are, that's an interesting reflection, who are watching this um, and who have chosen group one, animals are going to be speaking to you. Speaking to you, no, not like Dr. Doolittle, though, hey, I don't judge if that's what it is, if that's what it is. But no, they're going to come through and speak messages to you. And... Each of them has an interesting and unique voice. You can find different explanations for it on, on Google. There's a lot of different references for animal totems, but divine animals are coming through to give you messages and send them right to you. Now, there is a lion pictured at the center of this deck. So what it, what it means is it's representing you. It's yourself, the sense of self. So it could very well be that you're an animal is a very important part in, and hey, I know this very well, very important, has become a very important aspect of what is creating your sense of self. You could be somebody who works with animals or relates to animals or talks to animals or trains animals, but you are a type of person who can speak to those gentler things, can speak to those things who do not have voices for them. 
do not have voices for themselves. Um, you can intuitively understand things because to speak to animals, lots of times we need to use our intuition and we need to use our emotions and we, we, we need to be very empathetic people. And so I know that Pile one, you are extremely empathetic. You are people who can speak without words. You don't need somebody to have words in order. Or no, you don't need to hear words in order for you to understand what something is feeling or what something is saying. I love how these cards are almost like, you know, under blue light. They look like they are, they're under blue light. It's so beautiful. I just absolutely adore that. So you are this empath empathetic person who can feel things in the way that they're, you're connected in the way that animals are. You're connected in the way that um, spirit talks directly to you. And it doesn't necessarily have to come through traditional spoken language. This is a very intuitive connection with the whole world around you that you have. Your moon card it's time to release negativity. I think that a lot of times, this is Scorpio, this is the Scorpio full moon in Scorpio season. So what this means is not a Scorpio full moon in Scorpio season, but it's the motion, it's the, it's the mentality of it. It's time to release negative energy. So clearly you have probably bent up, in other words, you've absorbed empathically a lot of people's because you're an empath you absorb a lot of people's negative energy. Uh, they probably just hand it right over to you. Why are they handing it over to you? Because you're a perfect place for it, because you absorb it. You are this person who when you walk into the room, it probably exhausts you to be around a lot of people because you are so empathetic. And it's time for you to understand that, that all those burdens are not yours. They don't belong to you. The healing that you're going to need to undergo come tonight, especially Especially releasing it on All Hallows Eve is say take it back take back all this negativity take back all this hurt take back all this sorrow that does not belong to me it is not mine I unburden I, 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 un, I take this off of my shoulders and I give it over to the universe to dissipate and relinquish and release and to cure it's not yours you don't have responsibility for it but I know that you probably do feel like you have responsibility for everybody and that's why it always feels so good to you to be around animals because animals don't make you responsible for their emotions because they're open-hearted and they're unconditional as well and people don't do things that way like people are different and so when you get around a lot of people there's probably a huge there's just probably huge burden in you all the time you are this person who people open up to immediately they share too much about themselves on the first date, on the first time they met. People will come up to you and talk to you about random things. You don't even know if you care about it, but they just trust you. There is an essence, and that's beautiful. It's a beauty about you. This is your whole self. This is your beautiful self. This is your unconditional loving and empathetic self, but it does tend to get littered and trashed with people's emotions. And then where where is there room for yours? Where is there room for you? It is time to let go in Scorpio season. It is time to let go of other people's darkness. You probably have enough of your own and you've probably gotten to a point where you're confusing other people's darkness for your own. And that is something that you definitely want to avoid. That's too, there's too much of a burden there. And all of us only have so much energy. And I feel like you are that person who attracts a lot of energy vampires. People who want to come after you and drain you and be toxic to you. So there is a lot of healing that you're going to have to go through. Here we have 25. Look, this beautiful little babe looks at the swans and wonders about its future. And it feels tied. It feels tied to the swans in some way. It feels tied down. It doesn't really understand its purpose. It doesn't really understand its direction. And it doesn't really understand. It's almost like the swans know how to swim, but the baby doesn't. And it's almost like this, it's like the baby is being raised by swans. It will become this beautiful adult one day, but it's gotta make it through its childhood. And I feel like there was a lot of burdens that happened to you through 
through your childhood. You were probably raised by parents who were not like you, who do not understand where you came from. It's almost like they were raising a completely different species of creature and you therefore connected once again to animals. It's like, you, it's like the animals raised you. In other words, you could always relate to them and understand them. And here is spirit coming through loud and clear, a lot of winged animals and raven sitting above and raven is delivering that message from spirit. It's delivering that message saying, you know, you are, you were sort of born into, um, the wrong situation, the wrong circumstance, and felt probably your whole life that nobody really understood you or really belonged to you. So a lot of your life journey has been to seek out your soul tribe. Um, and I think that's a good idea for you. It, it is something that you definitely, a path that you definitely need to trust and to, and, and to go on. Because look at this little baby. He's all tied up with strings around his neck by people who don't really understand what he needs, right? And it's it's more like it's more like what is the baby doing in this environment when it's he's like a fish out of water or you know a swan out of the pond. Uh, will he grow into a swan? Will he become what he doesn't belong being? I don't think so. I think his whole life is going to be in other words, there's going to be almost like a um a confusion of who you are, especially in your early life. Uh, something that you think you should be uh, versus who you really are and what you really are inside. What you are sincerely um, has to, you have to be around people who can understand and offer that clarity and unconditional love to you. And it's like you haven't found your tribe and you are probably soul searching for your tribe. If you have started that quest and bless you on that quest, you are on a sacred quest to meet the people or um, join the people that you actually really do belong to. It doesn't mean that your parents necessarily treated you badly. In fact, it seems like they were attached to you and they were trying to, you know, give you whatever they, they had, give you the best of themselves. But at the same time, you were still, you didn't really belong to them really. Maybe you literally, this means that you were adopted or fostered in part of your life um, and that you were raised by people that you honestly didn't belong to and you've always been seeking the people that you did belong to. This could also make you a very compassionate person because you have been exposed to something very young that a lot of people are protected from and that often makes people very compassionate and open-hearted and empathetic and that's a beautiful thing but also something that can be a great emotional burden to you. So moving forward soul craft you now my beautiful beautiful friend it is your job to create your own soul soul crafting you are designing whoever you you get to decide who you want to be whoever you were in the past does not influence who you are becoming who you are becoming is an amalgamation of your own imagination of your own desires of your own will you are on a soul quest to be exactly what you want to be it's almost like you are a clean slate it's like um, you have not been everything that you've been imprinted with is something that you had to get rid of because it was negative or burdening to you or it was inappropriate for you so now you've started out you have a clean slate you have a clean slate my beautiful beautiful friend and here you are inventing yourself. You have the power to manifest and create everything that you are. And you understand that that is a tremendous responsibility. But at the same time, it's one that you take on freely because you want to be. You want to be. You want to exist. You want to be realized. And you have been on a soul quest for quite some time. And this is your journey, your journey of light, your journey of faith, your journey of seeking of creating this person that you want to be and not who you began being. So I am going to pull a few tarot cards to ask for guidance on your journey forward. Angels, what does, what, what, what do they need to know? What does group one need to know about their journey forward? Please words of advice and guidance for them on their journey forward. You're not meant to be alone. And you, you probably weren't, you don't, probably don't have a lot of money and you don't have a really strong sense of self. But understand me, 
you, you are not meant to be alone. You are not meant to walk alone. You are not meant to journey alone. You are meant to be connected to people. You have a direction. You definitely have a divine direction. And go. Go in that direction. Go. Run. You're ready. You're absolutely ready. You have the momentum. You have the energy. And you absolutely have nothing to lose. Whatever you're leaving behind. What I love about the chariot is whatever you're leaving behind was not good enough to keep you. And these, the yin and the yang, the balance, the positive and the negative, these are all the experiences that are pulling him forward. He's using the momentum of his past, of his history, of his wisdom, of his earned wisdom to pull him forward. This is your time. Your life is picking up. You are not meant to be alone. Your life is picking up. Your journey is picking up. Your destination is clear. One more card, please. One more card, please, to help them on their journey ahead. One more card, please. You could be a Cancerian. These are very Cancerian traits. You could be just a water sign in general, but this is this is the Cancerian card, which means, which um, reiterates um, your sense of empathy, caring, giving your giving yourself away to everybody else. One more card, please. Here we go. You, you, okay. You are rushing toward a new beginning. If you have felt trapped, if you have felt held back, you're gaining momentum and there's a lot of energy beside, behind you. Spirit is, is behind you. You are headed really quickly into a whole new beginning, into a passionate new experience. It is divinely given. It is you, what you've manifested. In other words, now spirit is on your side, helping you to manifest. So you are co-creating with spirit and you are on a fast track to manifesting what you are creating with spirit. You are not going to be alone any longer. This is spirit coming in and helping you, guiding you, providing you with all that you need. Please just keep moving forward. In other words, like um, the psychic who read my cards in Salem over this weekend. Hi, Kristen, if you're watching, I keep shouting you out. I hope you are watching. Um, she said to me, uh, your wings will grow on the way down just take this leap of faith and move move forward for all those who picked group one your divine message your divine message for your future is go go forward you are not meant to be alone you are not meant to be in the situation where you don't feel right or feel yourself you are meant to be part of something larger and bigger you have a divine purpose trust it and just go don't worry about what you don't have because what you don't have you don't need all you need is your courage and your confidence and all you need is your direction your faith to guide you forward follow in faith follow that divine intuition follow that inspiration you are going to be fueled you're going to have your energy just go and trust what you believe in and what you love because honestly as you create yourself you are creating reality you are adding to what we consider to be reality that is how powerful you are that you were meant to be a creator you were meant to be that's why you were not born where you were supposed to be you were meant to and that challenge was put to you from early on to have to create to have to learn to create and that's why you are a master creator and that is your life journey is to continue to create and manifest and move this world forward by inventing new things and following your in intuition and following your your inspiration how beautiful how beautiful group one i will i i i love you so much thank you so much for joining the reading um you can stay and listen to group two and three you are so welcome to in fact i hope you do All right, group two, group two. This, this is for you. First message, joy. Look at that. 
beauty and happiness and delight and hap it's coming through the light in other words the light is shining on you you are a star your life is going to be blessed with pure joy and essence of absolute happiness whatever you've been working on hoping for or dreaming of is coming true this is this is just you feeling good it could even not be have anything to do with getting what you want it could just be finding that you already are or already have everything that you want whatever it is you are living in a place of total joy of total happiness or joy is coming into your life this is not something that you are longing for or wishing for or needing it is something that is right here for you it is something that you already have you're feeling really good my friends good news has come to you or good news will be coming to you over the next 24 hours um, maybe even out to the next seven days but joy is abundant for you there is abundance in your life there is happiness there is prosperity and it's not just about prosperity because joy isn't about what you have it is about what you feel it is about what you realize and I do feel like Group two, you are spiritually connected. You are connected to spirit in a way that nothing could steal your joy, even through the hard times. It's almost like the book of Job. Even through the hardest, darkest times, they, he still had faith. And I feel like that is your soul. Deep down in your soul, you're somebody who, it, it's, it takes a lot to make you unhappy, or it takes a lot to keep you unhappy. You may get unhappy, we all feel sad, but you are somebody who easily lets go of sadness. And it's not that you don't feel deeply, it's that you do feel deeply so that you always know you can always find the joy in every situation. You can always find something to be grateful for or happy about. You are what they would call a positive person, but what I would call a very harmonious person, a very balanced person, because that's what joy is. Joy is the resonance of ultimate harmony. It is when every instrument is perfectly in tune, when it plays by itself, and every harmony and every chord is in perfect tune when the instruments are played together. That is what joy is. Joy is absolute perfect balance. And honestly, it takes a lot of work to get here. So I don't think that you're a novice. You are probably a very old soul. Very old souls are, are live in the state of joy. Why? Because they know, they know how beautiful and precious life is, even those sad moments. Even those sad moments are ironically blessings because life is a blessing. So this is with somebody that is pure joy feels maybe even your name is joy you know and hi if that's the case um but this is the this is the essence of somebody who is very deeply wise and a very old soul and who doesn't let life get them down even in the darkest of times because they understand they've lived so long they've been reincarnated so many times they've grown very wise and they have this beautiful sense of permanent jovility that comes along with wisdom joy comes with wisdom that is balance that is harmony hold on and so that's the that's the benefit of living many lives right of being an old soul is that you're wise enough to know that there's always tomorrow and maybe there's always even another life also, once again, and we'll see this in terms of your future predictions and your future cards and your way forward, it just feels like your life is glowing and radiating happiness. Happiness and abundance. And I think that abundance is coming from deep down in your soul. Like there's nothing that you couldn't find joy in. It's a state of being. It's a state of mind. Your Moonology card, what do you need to release, waning moon? So it is time. It is time. The waning moon is just before the new, just, just before the new moon, just before the new moon, when we get the black moon. And it says, what, in other words, what this is telling me is your joy is almost here. What is it that you need to release right before? In other words, what do you need to let go of? In order to make room for everything that you want, because everything that you want is coming in so this is essential now for you to be very honest with who you are and everything that you are in order for you to get rid of that last little sliver that you're holding on to whatever it is because we all do we all hold on to something but it's a good time to ask for guidance ask for angels ask for god ask for the universe whoever it is that you pray to this is a good time for you to pray to say um, please help me understand those things that are holding me back. 
Please help me understand those things that I'm putting in my way, how I'm blocking my abundance. Because you're so close to your abundance coming in. We want your, the universe wants your cup to be completely and totally empty so that it can be filled up with all the beautiful things that are coming in. But there's something, just a little sliver of something that you're still holding on to. And maybe you're confused about it. Maybe you don't know what it is. Maybe it's your fear of receiving. You know, um, I, I don't think that it's affecting how much you love life, but there's so much abundance that's coming in for you. It's so important now then for you. Oh, that's the reflection of, that's the reflection of the camera reflecting back. Isn't that interesting? Like that infinite mirror that just keeps going and going and going. Oh my God, your life is infinite, group two. Your abundance is infinite. It all wants to come in for you. This is the time to release all, just let it go, just let it go, let it go. Pray, pray for guidance. Pray for um, clarity on what it is you need to let go because it, it's, it's right, you're right, you're a, right about time as we move into winter, as we move into that cold season, as we move into the season in December, when we hit the winter solstice, what happens? We start to pick up light again. We start to increase our days. The winter doesn't last forever. And so it's telling you your winter is over. It's not winter is coming. Winter is waning, my friends. Whatever hardships or struggles you've been going through, whatever things that weren't clear to you, they will become clear soon. Over the next couple of months, you have to clear yourself out and start over. What is this? This is dying before rebirth. That's what it is. Your joy and abundance, your whole new life is about to begin. This is the cold season before the spring. Think, look to the winter solstice around that point to have everything released and everything ready. Whatever you're holding on to, there's still something group two that you're holding on to that you're afraid of. You know exactly what it is, but you probably don't want to admit it. I'm going to say to you right now, that's the thing that's blocking your abundance. And you have to take the leap of faith to let it go in order for all this perfection that wants to come to you. For it to come in. Ah, 26. Wow. This is a beautiful card. Life is a fine, fine balance. And you're going to learn a whole new dance. This is you learning how to walk the tightrope. But look it. There's a safety net below. Enjoy life. Be balanced. Find balance inside of yourself. What did I say about harmony and joy? Harmony and joy is finding balance inside of yourself. That's what joy is. This is you learning balance or having learned your whole life how to be balanced. Now, this is you perfecting it. This could also be you being some sort of a showman, some sort of an entertainer, somebody who loves to dance, who listens to music and can't sit down, who whose heart choreographs while it's working out at the gym. Do you know what I'm saying? Like this is the kind of spirit that you are, that whatever situation you're in, you find a reason to dance. You find a reason to be happy. You find a reason to learn something new. Um, she has no fear of the tightrope that she's walking. You know, life is a risk, but she's going to enjoy every second of it. You stand on a very fine thread between what you were and what you are becoming. You are going to have to walk it and you're going to have to trust you will come out on the other side and you will come out with flying colors healing so here you go um wow and this card came out backwards so i have a feeling that there is a little bit of you that is holding on to a little piece yeah that's what this balance is between Like between where you were and where you're headed, healing needs to start. In other words, I don't, you will be healed. You need healing and healing has not begun yet. And you know when healing begins, when you finally let go of this last little piece, what is that last little piece group two? I really want to know. 
because it's impeding your, your progress, it's impeding your joy. And I think that you're already happy, you already have abundance, you already love your life, but your life is gonna get so much better. The level up, you can't imagine, the, you can't imagine the amount of joy that's coming in because you're probably somebody who, it, it's easily easy to be happy, but there is something that you need healing from. There is that, this is the last little piece of the puzzle. You haven't begun your healing yet. Please begin your healing tonight. Ask for spirit, spirit who's listening very carefully tonight. Please, 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 spirit, please guide me into the way that I need to heal. What is it that I need to accept and what is it that I need to release? Please show me and I will move forward in faith and I will trust to the direction that you give me. Let me try to see if I can give you some direction group to what pops right over. Abundance, happiness, health, healing, maybe pregnancy, but definitely you holding the world in your hand, you holding the sunshine in your hand, you having everything that you've ever wanted, ever dreamed of, you having money, you having abundance, you having security, you having stability, and you actually being the seat of it all, you giving it all to yourself, okay, Me, so, so what is the guidance and what is the healing that needs to happen and the healing that needs to be done this could also be you being the healer or being the guiding light for other people and setting the example and giving the healing away please give guidance to group two what is their path forward once again it seems like your path forward is filled with abundance two more cards please cards please for group two that will tell them what their path forward is that will give them the guidance that they need to heal and to move forward in life. Two more cards, please, for group two. Two more cards for group two. Here's one. See things from a different perspective. Try to gain insight by looking at things, by intentionally looking at things from another direction. Do you see this is actually the same shape? The hanged man and the healing card in reverse? Maybe that's what you're really trying to do. You're trying to gain insight and understanding and look at things from a different perspective to understand healing in a different way. How interesting are you? Wow. But you're just basically taking some time out. You're taking some time out in order to start your healing process. You also could, this also could be a message of it might move a little slowly at first. In other words, you're stuck right now. You have not begun your healing process yet. What is the way forward? So patience, patience. And as you're being patient, as you're waiting, and you're going to be okay right now. As you're waiting and as you're learning, you're cared for. You're going to have all the resources that you need. You don't have to worry about them. They will come into you. Two more cards flipped over. We will take them both. Look at this. Excellent. There is going to be abundance and emotional stability. Maybe a man, a Scorpio Pisces Cancer that offers you a cup of love, a cup of opportunity, some sort of opportunity that gives you a great victory and great success. That's what's in your future. You have to see things from a different perspective or do things in a way that you normally wouldn't do them. Remember I asked you to ask for insight? There's something that you're holding on to that you probably don't even realize you're holding on to. You're going to need to figure out what that is to let it go, to let this abundance come in. This is emotional stability and maturity. These are beautiful counterparts. Look at this. You have the Queen of Wands, which is a mother energy, healing, resourcefulness, but, but 3D resources, of abundance, a nurturer, a caretaker, and then you have the king of cups who is emotionally stable and loving and offering this big old cup of love directly to you. He balances beautifully on a calm sea. Everything around, in other words, his emotions are things that he is very comfortable with. And he offers his cup of love only to those people who he feels comfortable with and who he knows are worthy. And maybe that's the journey that you need to make from giving, all giving mother 
to emotionally mature and a little bit more protective of what you give away to other people. But there is definitely, I feel, a love coming into your life. There is definitely abundance and victory coming into your life. Um, and there is definitely you in an unconventional way. That's what I'm hearing. This is an unconventional way that all this abundance is coming into your life. I really want a little bit more clarity. I don't want to pick too many cards, but I want a little bit more clarity on what is this unconventional way that, that they're going to be receiving tea. could have something to do with a tea. It could have something to do with um, a four, a tea or a four, because I always see those in this card. Nope. Nope. It's unconventional. Oh, I just got the message. They're waiting for you. Don't, don't be worried and don't be afraid because this person, look at, they're waiting for you. They're looking for you too. And, and they're, they, in other words, they've almost intentionally tied themselves up so that they don't go anywhere. They're waiting for you. They're waiting for you to connect with them. And it's almost like you're waiting for this person. I feel like both of you have to decide to stop waiting and to get going. Um, but I do think that the reason, I think both of you are very unconventional. That's what I think. You might be missing each other because you're looking in the wrong directions. And this card is saying you need to change your direction, change the way you're, change the way you're looking at things. Change your perspective and change what you're willing to get yourself involved in. And that's going to lead. In other words, change your position. Change your position, group two. You have to change that position. You have to let go of everything that you were before. You have to let it die and close out. The winter is here. It's like the death card. It's like Scorpio season. Let things die. Let things come to an end. Where you are now, change your position. You're both looking for each other. You're both searching. You're both waiting for each other. And you two are coming into union. That is absolutely true. Once you change your perspective, you'll be able to, boom, finally see each other. Look, I'm going to do something that you need to see. Please watch. What did I say? Change your perspective, right? Do you see, let me do that again. When they were sitting on these sides, looking in the direction they've always looked, they're looking away from each other, right? When they're looking, they're looking away from each other. He's looking over here, she's looking over there. But when they change their perspectives, now they can see each other. Now they're looking in each other's direction. This person is waiting for you. If you are single, understand that this person or this opportunity is absolutely waiting for you. You have to change your position. You're, pos you're in the wrong position. You're not the wrong person. It's not the wrong time. You're in the wrong position. Please change it. Change your position and that new opportunity or that person will come to you. That's where the victory lies in changing your position, changing where you are, changing how you think, changing what you decide. Change, change, change. You need to change a real change. Let the old die, let it end. And the new is coming for you. Oh, what a beautiful reading. Excellent group two. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, and now we're going to group three. Group three. Group three. There is only light. This is your only truth. This is your only reality. That you are, you have just awakened. That's what you are. Group three, you have just awakened. You have just seen the light. You have just come into the light. 
it, this is an awakening. You are going through your awakening right now and you are connecting to spirit in a way that you never thought imaginable. And maybe it, you don't want to imagine it. You don't want to imagine because you don't want to put any preconceived notions or dreams or superimpose them. You are just completely and totally connected. You are spiritually awakening. You have probably seen 1111 a lot lately. You are probably getting all different kinds of angel numbers coming to you. You have probably started to hear messages or understand things or maybe just started listening to tarot um you have you have you have finally realized that there is something more um some other forms of communication there's something more um than than what we traditionally accept as true you are a truth seeker um and you have just gotten like sort of awoken your spiritual awakening is happening now um, and you feel it all around you. You are a creature of light. You are a healer. You are a light giver. Um, people probably come to you for advice a lot now. It's probably just started happening though. It's, it's, it's almost like people can feel that something in you has shifted. You may be attracted to a different kind of person. You may have started to meditate um, every single day. Um, <laughs> Uh, any kind of light work, eat healthier, or eat better, cleanse out your soul or your cleanse out your body because your body is the temple for your soul and you want to keep that clean. If you haven't started this yet, you will. You will, group three, start to see 1111 a lot. Start eating healthy. Start eating correctly. Start focusing more on spiritual um spiritual um deliciousness and decadence than... Um, 3D uh, decadence, any kind of uh, cleansing of your soul means also cleansing of your body. Maybe it's also a call to start exercising more and working out more. Why? Because you are a temple of light. You are a temp, a, a, a creature. You are um, a a vessel for God. And this is your awakening and your realization that you have a purpose and a call to a higher power. Nothing will come of this situation void, of course. I think you had a hard stop lately. There was something that ended in your life, almost a tower moment that made you sort of come up, that, that made you come upon the spiritual awakening that you had to call upon your faith to get through. So this tells me that there could have been a tragedy, some great stress, definitely what I would call a tower moment where something suddenly ended and was ruined. You felt your life was ruined. You felt your life was destroyed. You went through a dark night of the soul, which is why now, you're connecting with spirit you needed to connect with spirit you needed your soul cleansed you needed your life cleansed and something about this circumstance was something that you needed to happen to you to go through that kind of awakening you needed it to happen to you as as horrible as it was group three god bless you you went through it and when you came out the other side you came out enlightened you came out realizing like wow all of this shit that i cared about doesn't matter at all it's silly and stupid compared to what i just went through what i just lost there is and it's also it's it's like liberating you it's freeing you this illumination this ending has bought you a freedom and a liberation that you never thought you never even dreamed of it you never wished for it you never asked for it because i don't think that you ever you would you would have felt too guilty to do it but you have a higher purpose group three you are on a soul mission you are on a spirit mission your spirit was sent here you are before you were born you were given an assignment and i think whatever was whatever was taken from you or ended recently was getting in the way of that assignment and as horrible as that sounds it's just the truth you have a mission group three and it's a mission that you have to accept it's not like a mission impossible should you choose to accept it that's no such thing you want to know why because you've already accepted it before you were born you accepted a mission but when we get into our 3d bodies we lose our direction and sometimes we forget and that's what eclipses that mission and then what happens is bam a tower moment comes in and says nope remember remember and i think that you that's what just happened to you recently is like um over the last maybe the last full moon or the last couple of full moons there was a situation that literally shook you to your core and awoken you and made you understand or made you reconnect with spirit 
and your soul mission. Whew, that is not light stuff. So um, we have 27. Oh, there are hidden wisdoms here. Hidden wisdoms and hidden friends. Things that you wouldn't see or things that you wouldn't expect. You're now seeing life in places that you never saw life before. If you look really, really closely, you can see the trees. You can see the trees have life to them. You can see that they have faces, almost like Tolkien's Ents. You know, it's almost like everybody thought they were dead, but they have a language. And now all of a sudden you see the life in things that you thought were dead. In other words, you're going to get new life. You're going to get a new chance at life, but it's going to be different. You will never see the world in the same way again, but that's beautiful. You want to know why? Because now you're going to see a much broader spectrum world. You're going to see life and potential where you never would have seen it before. And you're going to be wise enough to understand its wisdom. You're going to be wise enough to listen to all things, to creatures that are big and small, ones that have um, mouths and words and ones that don't, you will be wise enough to listen. This could, um, yeah, this, this is an indication of, of, of just your eyes opening and you'll never be able to change the way you see this again. It's like you never saw the life in these things before, but now, now you see, and you're never going to be able to unsee it. You are forever changed in how you see the world. The world is a different place to you, but I feel in a lot of ways in something might have died, right? Because owl can be also an omen of an, of an ending of life. But it's also a message from spirit. It's clarity. It's seeing in the dark. Now you can see in the dark. You can see through the pain. You can see the wisdom uh, that it taught you. And you also can see the life in trees. You can see their spirits. You can see and hear and listen to situations and circumstances and understand things that you never would have the ability to do before. Why? Because now you're awakened. You're awakened to a higher sense of wisdom, to a higher understanding of what energy is. This energy is now free flowing through you. You have gone through a huge transformation, group three. You literally, this is the butterfly. You have become a butterfly. No more caterpillar. You can't go back awakening. How perfect is that card? It's just a confirmation. How many times have I said in this reading, awakening, awakening, awakening. And that is, there is only light. You have awakened. You have awakened. It's almost like you were, you went through a rebirth. This is your rebirth. You have been reborn. You have been reborn into the image or back into the knowledge and understanding of what you were promised or what you promised before you were born. You have awakened to a higher sense of understanding and yourself. And honestly, this isn't just spiritual. I think this is also in the 3D. Your life has completely and totally changed. Something you, maybe you went through a car accident and now you can't walk and now you have to completely and totally learn something all over again, or you have to learn a whole new trade, but that's it. That's your whole new life. And you're going to find beauty in this and abundance and happiness and a, a healing, a healing that you would never understand. This is taking a chance that you never thought you'd take. This is something working out that you never even dreamed of. This is the unexpected journey coming right to your door. This is Gandalf coming to Bilbo's door, knocking on it and changing his life forever. This is something that he you never thought you'd do. But because this tower moment came and released you from the patterns that you were stuck in, now you are taking this whole new chance. Your life has just begun and it's brand new and beautiful. Awakening. You have awoken. You may be on a spiritual quest. You may be becoming a light worker. You may have just, you know, started to be a spiritual worker. Please... Angels, send guidance for group three on what they need to know and what they're going to see or expect in their future. The devil holding on to the past and fear. This will be a challenge for you moving forward because whatever trauma you went through, it still holds some sort of sway over you. Having to lay down your burdens. Your burdens are over though. Your attachments are over. Or you have to make sure that you decide to lay down your burdens. It's almost like the tower moment came to clear everything out. 
and immediately maybe what you did was revert back to finding new burdens because you were so used to being burdened or you were so used to being blocked. That's the end. There's the end to somebody's control over you or somebody's hold over you. The end to an unhealthy relationship. The end to burdens. Yep. Oh my God, look at this. You were in a very unhealthy situation, a very unhealthy attachment or relationship. You sang the pack with the devil and you were held to it and it was ruining your life. You could have been addicted to drugs or alcohol. You could have just been in an abusive relationship, not necessarily with um, a lover. It could also be, and look at the 10 of, look at, look at the 10 of swords is here too. And then what comes next? A new beginning, a new life a new offering of life, brand new and fresh, young and new. Sometimes this is even a new baby or a new child coming into your life. So group three, this was a whole new beginning for you. But you have, like, this is it. It's an ending of your burdens. This wheel came and changed everything. And the burdens you didn't want to put down, they're over now. Everybody who was stabbing you in the back, all that betrayal, it's done. I'm telling you, it's like you went through a hard restart. You went through a death to have a new life. Look at you. Look at you. You, you were stuck in a situation that was just bad for you. Whether you knew it or not, it was bad for you. It was not something that was healthy. But you kept on trudging along, taking more and more burdens onto your back, and you kept trying to carry them. The wheel turned and ended that all for you. And it was painful. It was a painful ending. But gosh, group three, it had to happen because you are supposed to be somebody else. And this is your new beginning. This is your new start. This was your hard restart and you will never, ever, ever be the same. You are looking forward to new life. You're looking forward to new love coming into your life. You're looking forward to basically handling life in a whole new way, a more emotional way. But you're not afraid of your emotions anymore. No, it would be silly to be afraid of your emotions. You have started a brand new life. You are starting new. This is your awakening. This is your new life. This is your new chance. There is no turning back. I love you so much, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Hold on one second. Thank you so much for joining me on this special Halloween pick a card. I hope that you loved it as much as I did. I got a great deal of... I got a great deal of joy planning this, preparing for it, and then participating in it. I actually chose a group this time, and I want to see in the comments below, I want to see if you guys can guess which group I chose. It would be really interesting to see what your guesses are. Guess group one, group two, group three. Which group did I choose? Because the last time I did a pick a card, you guys remember? I didn't choose a group. I was like too nervous and, and I was all thinking about the preparation and the candle and the camera angles and how I was going to do everything. Um, and now that I got my new camera stand, I'm, I'm a lot more comfortable. So I was like, how am I going to do this? Oh my God. Oh my God. And I was too worried and I didn't pick a group. But this time I picked a group and I want to know if you can guess which group that was. Can you? Be interesting. What group do you think I picked? I will definitely let you guys know if you participate on tomorrow's daily. On tomorrow's daily, that means Friday, November 1st. Oh my God, please, rabbit, rabbit, do not forget to say it. Every first of the month, you have got, that's got to be the first thing that you say. Why? Because it brings in good luck. Rabbit, rabbit, bring in good luck for the month. And don't, don't we all need good fortune? Let's just keep inviting that into our lives. Um, oh God, I love these cards. All of the cards, if you're interested in buying any of the decks, all of that information is below. If you're interested in a personal reading, that information is in the description box below. Also in the description box below is um, all the generic information and ge like the link to Vimeo in general. There's lots of good information on there. There's a wonderful, all the extended videos and weekend romances are there. You can play around with them and purchase whatever you like. There are so many on-demand pages and content over on Vimeo that I want to be able to share with you too. Whatever you're interested in, bottom line, it's in the description box below so there's information you can get. 
Hopefully I will see you on tomorrow's live and we can discuss this. Pick a card, how, what, how you guys felt about it, what group you you picked. Please leave the comments below. You know I'll be reading them. I always, I always do. I always do. I try to respond to as many of you as I can. Wait, before you go, happy, happy, happy Halloween. From Kisses and Me. Happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween. I love you guys. Bye.